Hey everyone, we are back to do our second drive today. This is going to be the Hendersonville route. Very standard route we've done for a long time. So last time was zero interventions and no hands. I'm going to see if we can get the same thing again today. It started driving before it actually fully enabled. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, this parking lot has been good for a while. Seems to be slowing down. It has this van right here for tours of Carl Sandburg. And it it definitely has room to get through here. Like I'm not pressing the accelerator. A little bit early to turn on the blinker, but hey, it's fine. It's only you can only this is a one-way road, so you can only turn left or right here. It's it stopped way too soon for this stop sign. And there's no traffic coming, so it's good to go. It still went too fast out of there. Look at that, and it's just way too fast acceleration right here. And it's even driving on the wrong side of the road. Interesting. Maybe because I thought that shadow was something in the road, I'm not sure. Yeah, so that's still room for improvement there, unchanged. Last time we did angle correctly here. Let's see if it's gonna do it again. Are we gonna do it? Uh, yeah, I'll call that good. It could be a little bit better, but I'll call it acceptable. The point is, right here, it needs to leave enough room, which I think it has, for a car to get past me from behind. That means they can um, they can get past and take a right turn here. Okay. Very confident coming through this intersection here. 25 sign. It's funny, it's, until it passed the 25 sign, it's still accelerating. Like, I still think this is fine. Like, they changed a couple years ago. It used to be 35 in here, and they moved it to 25. Just because people are speeding through Flat Rock right here. Otherwise, this is, this is great right here. We got a blinking yellow coming up. So the previous update, 11 that 12 that 4 that 1, would break for this, but didn't fully break. Yeah, see what it's doing? It's not, like, there's no one behind me, so that's why I'm going to do this. So it, that's unacceptable. So we're going to go press the camera button to hopefully report that. Chris from Dirty Tesla. I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> That's unfair. Uh, Chris from Dirty Tesla is having the same exact issue up in Michigan. And um, that was actually worse than it was the last time. So it basically basically varied. So still no d interventions, but like uh, to me, unacceptable behavior. Definitely room for improvement at blinking yellows. I think it's because the car, as you can see on screen, it sees that blinking yellow as a blinking red. So... <laughs> I don't know if it's something they need to adjust in the camera or what, but it's, the car seems to see blinking yellow as it uh, goes back and forth between yellow and red. A little bit hesitancy because for some reason that truck didn't go right away when it could have, and it thought it was, you know, the car thought it should have gone. It was a little bit hesitant there. But otherwise, it made it fine for that, that roundabout. As we're coming into town here, in my opinion, it should start slowing down a little bit. Go back down to 35 as it starts seeing, you know, we're starting to get more cars, more people, uh, more intersections. The only reason it slowed down, obviously, is because this car pulled out in front of us. But, so we wouldn't be able to see if it was going to slow down naturally without this car. But the last version it basically corrected this turn right here. We're about to get into this intersection. And yeah, just as good. Oh, even better. It's a nice smooth, like keeps on going through the intersection. Yeah, definitely great. That that, that couldn't have been any better. That that was very good. Let's see what it does for this. Is there a parade today? As we had a parade on um, 
on a uh, McCauley. So I'm not gonna be able to do. Darn, I'm not gonna be able to do our uh, normal normal test or the rest of this today. Interested in how it changed to be after. I think. Is it gonna pull in? The, is it actually gonna pull in? Well, that's new behavior. It's never done that before. Normally, it would pull off the side of the road right there, or take it right. Oh, please tell me I can find it. Find a parking spot. It's never, it's never done this before. Oh, come on. Okay, what they need to improve. Okay, this is the end. This is really the end of the destination. So I guess we have to disengage. So they, they should enable it to where the parking shows up when it knows it's in a parking lot and it knows it's at its destination. Oh, look at that, this car is not parked correctly. Let's see how my car parks. Is it gonna park over the line too? Or is it gonna, is it gonna try and park in between the lines as close as it can get to this car right here? Ah, huh, look at there. So that worked great. Okay, everyone, so it looks like we have a parade on uh, Main Street, so I don't know how, I don't think we're gonna be able to get across. Um, I think, unless that was something else that was there. Let me figure it out, I'll bring it back. Okay, we're back, everyone. So I'm not sh actually sure there is a, um, is a um, parade, but we're gonna try it anyway. If it's not, then I'm just gonna reroute us and have some little bonus footage for this. It's not gonna be, unfortunately, a perfect. Oh, right in the pothole. Okay. Slow it down. So, this is a hard. Actually, I want to show this right here. Um, that, we're obviously not gonna count this as a disengagement. Put that on. Do this. Go down to service. Go down to camera preview. Left, no, left door pillar. See, look at this. So this is the view the car has. It cannot see down the road. My, I'm, if you can tell, I'm already in the road. So I'm as, basically as far as you can go forward before my nose is in the road, right? The wide angle can't see. Left to right. So this, this to me is. See, look at that. It couldn't see that van until like last second. I mean, technically, I, I guess I can't either, but what I can do is if you back up, you can see the van coming right here. I can see, if I back up, the, the car will see here. So that's the type of logic the car needs to be able to do, to be able to, to, be able to drive on these type of situations. See, look at that. Look how quickly that came out. I'm perhaps, I, no, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, perhaps, uh, if you were right here, the, this thing I can't even see, and I'm further ahead. There's no way, so I can't see that, which is, is very interesting. I mean, you just basically have to creep out and and just hope that uh, you know you're not going to get hit. I mean, I guess as a human you have to do that, but I don't know. I mean, maybe the car having faster reaction time could like reverse all of a sudden or something like that. I, I don't know. But those are the type of situations where I really think the B-pillar could have some limitations. Yeah, and we do have a parade, okay. Yeah. That's something the car needs to, needs to uh, get better at. So it's, it's not gonna be able to, it's, it, it, it's, it's blocked. Okay, we're not gonna be able to get through there. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to, Navigate the Harris Teeter. Okay, we're just gonna... So this is gonna be bonus footage. Um, so... We're not, I was gonna count that disengagement because I had the reroute. Um, but it needs to be able to know... Uh, I should've, I should've actually commented on it though. I was like, are you gonna go this? I think... 
And you can't go that way because it, the road is blocked. It can't take a left turn here because the road is blocked for a parade. The map data needs to understand this. The road is blocked. You can't go that way. So I, I guess technically I have to, I don't know. I mean, I guess technically these are disengagements because the route, the map is going to a different route. It doesn't know it needs to turn around. And it can't do a three point turn right now. So that's, is that an education? I don't know. Um, I didn't know there was a parade, but I can tell. Like, look, look at this right here. There's a blockade in the road. You can't go down that road. And if I did go down the road, it needs to know it, how to turn around. I know you guys are going to complain that I didn't let it do that. But I'm like, I don't know. I just, those are the type of edge cages now that are going to be like really annoying because it's just like, what's the car going to do? So we're basically going to end it at, at uh, Harris Teeter here instead of an other route. Technically, this is a little bit more complex of a route than going down Main Street. Main Street just gives us more people to deal with. We have a blinking yellow, and it's safe to go. It's, it's okay. okay. That was a little bit cut and close. Same thing on that curb right there. So I made it. Was it gonna... Okay, get in this turn lane here. And it's probably gonna go to go in front. <laughs> I don't know where this guy's gonna go down this this alleyway here. Can we park again? Is it gonna wanna park? No. That's cool, it shows a full view of the parking lot. That's cool. Alright, anyways. Um Why does it think there's a parking spot right there? There's not a parking spot there. That's interesting. So yeah, guys, um, that's going to be in this video. We're not going to do our Aldi route uh, just because of the parade and other things going on. But um, if you have questions for me, put them down below. Tell me what you think of the of the um, the parade, how that's going to handle it. You know, the car obviously for rover taxi needs to handle that. Or, you know, or maybe they're going to have someone take it over. I don't know. They needs to be able to do a three-point turn. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.